Okay, here's a quick example of two styles of big leaf maple. Uh, this is a big leaf maple that was cut down. So we call it a stump sprout maple. It was cut down and it regrew uh, four trunks. And as opposed to a seedling maple, which from being seed grown, grew a nice single trunk and has good structure, nice wide branch angles. This tree has a great future um, as long as its roots and everything stay healthy. Um, and will potentially, uh, you know, it could live a couple hundred years. Whereas this one, um, within a few years, is going to have a really increased likelihood of starting to fall down. What happens is the trunk on the right um, loads up and only has branches to the right because of all this tight competition here for light. And this trunk on the left loads up with branches only to the left. And what happens is that they fail much like the stalks off of a clump of celery, a bunch of celery, and or petals off of a flower. They just go in all directions. Um, so uh, one technique for managing this kind of a situation is called coppicing. In Europe, in the industrial, uh, near the industrial towns, smelting towns they, that ran off of charcoal or, or wood fueled, uh, they would do coppice for so they cut down the tree down initially and then they would when these stumps regrew for uh, five to twenty years or so they would cut them back off back to the point of origin not not cutting them down here but cutting back to point of origin and then the sprouts would regrow ideally you do this in uh, the dormant season um, or very early in the season so that uh, the tree can have all its stored energy to put back into new growth. Uh, times that we use this coppicing technique, uh, it's not necessarily a go-to technique for all trees. Obviously, we would min want to minimize the use of it on seedling trees that are in good site, good site location. So this tree, a seedling tree, maybe this is popping up into a Mount Rainier view and the whole house is designed around this Mount Rainier view say Mount Rainier It's right there um, Bring it back down and letting it regrow to that point and then bring it back down. Let it regrow to the point uh, Many times our views are in geologically hazardous areas and this is a good way to maintain a healthy root system On the tree let it grow back for several years. You don't want to be cutting it back every single year um, and Another time that we would potentially use this is if this tree were in an unstable situation um, on a steep slope, for example. Uh, just bring it back down here and let it regrow for at least three years, I would say, um, so that it can restore um, carbohydrate reserves and uh, keep those, that root system healthy on the slope.